Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Redis on your Mac operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can install Redis on our Mac. So first of all, open up your favorite browser and search for Redis. And the first link which will appear here will be from redis.io. So we will just click this link, which is redis.io. And here we can see the home page of Redis. What we want to do here is we want to go to the downloads uh, section. So we will just click this option which says download. And then when we scroll down a little, we can see this downloads button. But don't click this download button yet. We will see how to install Redis on our Mac uh, by scrolling uh, down a little. So when we scroll down a little, here you can see the installation steps for Redis. So first we need to download this tar file and then we need to uh, unzip or untar this uh, tar file and then we need to make the Redis uh, binaries, right? Now let's see what is the latest version at the time of making this video uh, for the Redis. So we can see in the downloads button that 4.2 0.0, .0 is the latest stable version at the time of making this video, right? So we will uh, install the 4.0.0 .0 version of Redis. Now, sometimes uh, this wcat command may not work on your Mac operating system. So we will use the curl command to download this tar file, okay? So instead of wcat, we will use the curl command and then we will follow the same procedure as described here with some additional commands okay so what we will do first is on my desktop for example or at your chosen location just create a folder so i'm going to create a folder and i'm going to name it as uh, redis okay so inside this redis directory i'm going to just uh, download this tar file and untar it and then make the binaries out of it okay so then once i have this uh, folder i will just uh, see the info get the info and then uh, just see what is the path of this redis directory and i'm going to copy it and then i'm going to open a terminal so just open a terminal and then just cd to this redis directory so because it's on my desktop i can just uh, use this or location so user and then whatever is your username and then forward slash uh, desktop and then forward slash redis i just need to write forward slash redis and then i'm inside this redis folder right now we will do the ls and there is nothing inside this uh, redis folder and let's just open this folder so we will uh, see what's happening inside this folder okay so let me just resize it so we will see all the things which are happening here and now we will just give a curl command so just write curl and then minus o and then the location of uh, this uh, tar file so just copy this uh, url from here which is there on the downloads page without wget okay so just copy this uh, url and then uh, paste it here on the terminal and then press enter which is going to download this tar file and once it's downloaded we will just uh, untar it so you can see this tar file is downloaded right and to uh, untar it or extract it we will use this command so right click copy and then just paste it here which is going to extract this uh, tar file and we can see this uh, folder is extracted and inside this folder we have uh, some uh, files right so the next step is to cd to this uh, directory which is redis minus 4.0.0 .0 .0 and then make it right so you can see the step cd to this 4.0.0 uh, .0 directory and give the make command so we will do the same cd to the 
Redis 4.0.0 directory and then give a make command which is going to uh, make the binaries for the Redis server and Redis client and other Redis uh, stuff, right? So now the make is finished and at last I can see this message which says uh, it's a good idea to run make test. So let's run make test. I'm going to just give this command which is make test and then press enter. So now the make test command is also finished and I can see this message which says all test passed without error, right? So I know that everything is okay and now I can start the Redis server and then Redis client, okay? So let's see what are the command for, for those. So Redis server can be started from the source directory and we just need to run this command which is Redis server and the uh, same we need to do for uh, Redis client. So from the source directory, we can just uh, run this Redis CLI, right? So let's do this. So I'm going to uh, open a new terminal. So let me open a new terminal. So now I have two terminals, right? So on the first terminal, I will just uh, do first of all ls here or let me clear the terminal first of all. So clear and then I will do ls here and I can see there is a source directory here. So I will just uh, give this command src and then redis minus server, right? So redis minus server and press enter which is going to start the redis server and it has started listening on this port which is the default port for redis which is 6379 and this is the PID of this uh, Redis server, right? Now, once again, I will uh, navigate to this uh, directory where I have installed Redis. So it's in my desktop and then uh, I'll go to the Redis directory, then the Redis 4.0.0 and then I will just give this command which is src forward slash uh, Redis CLI. So let me do ls. So I know that I am in the same directory and then I will just write SRC and then Redis CLI and I'm connected to the Redis server. I can see this uh, kind of uh, prompt here. That means I'm connected to my Redis server, right? So first to test whether everything is working fine or not, you just need to write ping here and then press enter and if in return you get pong then you know that everything is working fine you can also set something so for example set name is equal to max and then press enter and then you can get the name so get uh, name and then you can get the name okay and then you can uh, give the save command to save everything for example right so everything is working fine, but for example, when I open a new terminal and I want to run Redis CLI, for example, from here, how can I do it? So I just want to write Redis minus CLI and I want to run it. So let me just correct the spelling here. So Redis CLI and I want to run it. And it says command not found because right now the redis cli command can be only run from this directory right so you need to cd to this directory and then run the redis command so how to solve this problem so this problem can be solved by running the make install command inside your redis directory so i'm going to just stop the server for now and now uh, i will once again do for example pwd so you know that in which directory i am in so i'm in my redis 4.0.0 directory right let me clear the terminal so you will be able to see better so pwd present working directory and you can see i'm in my uh, desktop directory and then there is a redis directory here which is this one and then we are in the Redis 4.0.0 directory, right? 
so we have run here the make and make test command and you just need to write make install command here with the sudo uh, privileges so you just need to write sudo make install here and then press enter and you just need to give your max password here and then press enter and then it will start the make install uh, command and then you can see everything is uh, installed and now you can run uh, redis server and redis cli from anywhere right so let me just close this terminal and close this terminal also let me just terminate everything and i will open a new uh, terminal so that we can check whether it's running from uh, any other place other than this redis folder or not so i will start two uh, terminals in the first terminal i will write redis uh, server and it starts from my home directory and now i will give the redis cli command so just give redis cli and then i'm connected to this server right so everything is working fine and now you can start uh, redis server and uh, you can use redis cli command from anywhere from your uh, directory structure right so in this way you can download and install redis on your mac operating system i hope you enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now